Hello and welcome back to Organic Cardboard. My name is Owen Kniep and um, I have yet another unboxing video to do. I have, uh, in the past three weeks, I have gotten, I think, five uh, like Kickstarter or uh, pre-order reprintings, uh, things that have, that have come out. Uh, so <laughs> today's is gonna be uh, Dwellings of Elder Bell, the third printing. Um, really hard to get your hands on this game. They've, uh, I think they're they're ramping up production. It'll probably over this next printing, maybe the the fourth printing or so, they're going to start having this pretty readily avail available. I don't, I'm not really sure why they uh, have had such a hard time getting it in the, like a, a strong production. It's been really popular with anybody that has um, played it and. Uh, like Andromeda's Edge was on uh, Kickstarter recently. I did back that. Um, looking really looking forward to that. It looks really awesome. Uh, but Dwellings of Eldervale um, is uh, yeah. It's just you, you've seen it before if you're interested in it. I'm just gonna pop this open though. This is mostly a video for you guys that um, you know are buying this third printing and you're wondering what's coming in it. So I. Uh, don't really remember what all I bought. I tried to buy, I think, as much of it as I could. I feel like there were some one or two little things um, that uh, they didn't have. And I think I might have opted out of getting like wooden tokens. I was trying not to spend too much on this game. There's a lot to buy on it. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see, see what we got in here. And uh, we can learn what I bought together because I can't remember because it's been a while. A while since this last uh, impulse buy. So this is what we've got in the box. Uh, I think I did try to get all of the like the legendary whatever extra that extra box of stuff and oh huh I said I didn't buy wooden tokens, but I guess I did. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we've got all the little the little wooden components. I must have just gone back in there and grabbed them while they were there. Um, cool. So uh, so we've got those to replace the cardboard. Uh, we did buy the uh, this little. I think this was like a stupid like eight dollars or ten dollars for this one little uh, extra hex. Uh, but, you know, I was already buying it all and it just couldn't help it. Uh, so we've got the, the little mercenary miniatures for the shapeshifter and the, uh, the minotaur. So those may or may not come in on my, my upper screen very well. And then we've got the big boxes themselves with all of the acc accolades uh, printed on the outside of this this wrapping. So uh, we did get the uh, legendary edition uh, set of uh, these all these little monsters with their sound effects uh, bases. Uh, one of the most ridiculous uh, add-ons for any game. Uh, but they they come with those standees or those. Um, I'm sorry, the, the miniatures. So what are you going to do? You got to get them. Got to get it all. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, we've got a board game of the year 2020 from Tantrum House. They got the Seal of Excellence from the Dice Tower. They got the board game Spotlight from the Spotlight Awards and Best Production Values a winner, 14th Annual Gaming Awards, and then the Meeple's Choice. 2020 game of the year best production best box cover so um i'm i'm really excited to get in this i've never played dwellings of elder bell i've seen it played once or twice at a distance um it looks really cool uh i'm, I'm excited to see what uh, breaking games has to offer so i am going to open up this box just because i can't help myself you guys may already know what's in here, but let's take a look together and see what we got. can already see the lid lift on the box, which means there's a lot of cardboard in here, a lot of uh, tokens to be punched. So what 
do we have? Let's see. Oh yes, the wonderful uh, game trays inserts that we all have grown to love so much. I uh, got all the rules here, Ghosts of Elder Vale, Appendix, and a first time setup. Uh, this is really nice to have in your Un in your unboxing videos, in your unboxings of any game, uh, is to know how to put the pieces away. Um, I just did a unboxing uh, recently for um, uh, for Oceans, the Legendary Edition. There was n nothing that said how to put the box away, which uh, slightly irked me. I mean, I love the game, so it doesn't didn't irk me too much, but it was a slight irk. Uh, so these are, are just super nice. They feel really good. They feel sturdy. These are going to hold all your uh, your main components that you're pulling out. All of these uh, cardboard pieces, which I don't know if I'm just going to stick those somewhere else since apparently I've got the wooden ones. Um, but yeah, we've got all of the all the different cardboard sprue. Rip those open and see what we have on these boards. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night putting this away. <laughs> all right, yep. Yeah. So we've got all the, the different hexes for these different, I guess, elemental lands uh, that are showing up. Um, you got the little standees for the monsters uh, punched in there, as well as all the little uh, tokens for potions and building. Um, hammers, whatever. I don't know. I've got to learn the game, so. <laughs> uh, and then inside here, we've got the uh, one of the boards. And it looks like we've got some stickers to put on some things. These are probably for all your little player, uh, little trackers there for all of the different uh, factions. Ghosts of Eldervale. So that looks like that's a variant of the game. And then we have uh, all these, again, wonderful uh, little inserts here. Um, these will hold all the individual factions. Let's go ahead and pull them all out because I'm going to have to get them out anyways. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Goodness, how many factions are there in this game? Yep, yeah, so there's at least, at least eight of them. I have eight boards here. Really nice to have all of these little game tray inserts, though. So you got component pieces. You've got two doubling up on the, the different um, common components that you can spread them around the board. Uh, it looks like these are uh, some special tokens that your each of your factions is going to have. You got all the colored meeple, uh, ton of dice, ton of d6 dice. Bunch of extra wooden components, little wizards, the standy bases, the little houses. I've got it. I have to do this just because I've got to see what these meeples look like when you turn them into houses. And just to see how they fit too, because I don't know how well that's going to keep from rubbing off the uh, printing on these meeples, but they are pretty cool. Little houses. So these guys, I'm assuming it just takes like up, like it uses up one of your, um, your, your characters, one of your uh, builders or people or whatever that are turning into dwellings. Becoming the dwellings of Eldervale. You got some little um, clear mar like flat marble markers, all the cards. Not gonna worry about opening those right now. And it looks like we got some little kind of fighter warrior looking meeples. This looks like um, this looks like it might go with that ghost of uh, Eldervale variant here. So we did get the deluxe. Well, this is an empty box, huh? So I guess these must just be to place the. 
components uh, into of the legendary and the uh, deluxe versions. Hmm. I wonder if I, I wonder if they ran out of the deluxe ones when I was going to to purchase them last time because it looks like I just have the legendary edition box here. So maybe maybe I did not get the uh, the deluxe set, but oh well, I guess maybe that'll be something else I have to look forward to later. Um, so we did. It does come with a couple of the. Uh, the little miniatures as well here, um, and these are these are fine. Um, they're a little polygonal looking. Like there's not a whole lot of detail on these on these miniatures. If you aren't aware of them, um, I mean they serve a purpose. They've got big fancy bases for them, but otherwise, I mean the dragon looks kind of cool, but. Definitely not the most detailed. They did put a little wash on it, which is nice. Um, they got the little hex holder, all the little holders for all the things. You got a card. Hopefully there's room for sleeves in here, but we'll see because I will be sleeving. But yeah, all the different cards and things. So that's, um, that, that is the majority of it. Um, let's see here. So, this is the only other thing I've got to open. And I guess, again, that you just get to put this stuff into those smaller boxes when you're packing it all together. This is what we got in the Legendary Edition. So they give you the standees as well as the models themselves. They put them in color, and then they have the ridiculous bases on the bottom. Um, again, same, all, all the same like kind of quality. I mean, pretty, pretty basic looking miniatures though. They really didn't go ham on the detail on these. This thing's just, it kind of looks melted a little bit. He's just smoothed over and all the details. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Gave it a nice little wash. Um, it's probably not necessary to, to get the miniatures uh, for this game. Um, but I did anyways. So <laughs> that's that. You can't change it after you done did it. Um, he looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a gnarly little grass beast coming for, right for you. It's coming right for us. Let's see what the grass beast sounds like as I uh, ruin these little batteries that come with these things. <laughs> so they kind of squish down onto these big ridiculous bases. I fit in there pretty well, pretty sturdy, not falling out or anything. And then. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? So every time you move this and you thump it, you get one of those. Is there an L? What's the L mean? Is that a different sound? So I guess he has a slight variation, or you can just turn it off. You can just not use them. So uh, that is at least the base set and the uh, legendary components. The deluxe components are going to look uh, pretty similar. I believe it's just, again, ex some extra miniatures uh, to cover the, the deluxe set. Um, but yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about all uh, I've got to say for my unboxing video of uh, what I purchased of the uh, Dwellings of Eldervale. Um, um, I, I hope I'm glad that I got the wooden pieces. They look, they look, look pretty decent, but uh, we'll, we'll see as we go. I, and these little mercenary miniatures here, the same quality. I'm not going to worry about pulling them out. They do not have bases for them. 
oh well we'll see how they play but anyways guys uh thank you so much for stopping by if you enjoy this kind of content you know a couple of those free clicks on the screen uh really help support out channels like mine and i uh, really appreciate it when you do but as always do what is right for you and uh, at any length. I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your evening. Um, if you ordered Dwellings of Elderville, I hope that you are getting it as we speak or you have already acquired it. <laughs> um, but at any length, guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.